If you're charged with the crime of assault in Florida, the state attorney's office has to prove three elements beyond and to the exclusion of all reasonable doubt to gain a conviction. The first element they have to prove is that the person being charged intentionally and unlawfully threatened by word or act to do violence to another. Again, this requires you to say something or do something. It can't just be an inherent fear of the person. So for example, if you say, when I get next to you, or if I'm next to you, I'm going to punch you in the face, that might be considered an assault. It's a verbal threat. Or if somebody's standing against a wall and you punch the wall next to them and knock a hole in the drywall, you haven't hit them, you haven't battered them, but you may have committed an assault because through word or act, you have threatened violence to the other. The second element we must prove is that you have the readily ability to carry out the threat, meaning there's an imminent danger of violence about to take place. So if you're next to the person, if you're across a table or across a counter, something where with an immediate action and the, the violence could take place, then an assault, that second element is met. If it's something being done like over a telephone or via a letter, it may be some other type of crime, but unlikely to be an assault because it requires travel or requires uh, violence to be contingent on some future event. So if somebody were to say, if I ever see you getting an F on your report card again, well, that's contingent on some future event that hasn't happened yet. So again, unlikely to satisfy that second element. The third element, and this is where a lot of defenses can come in on the crimes of assault or aggravated assault, is the action, the word or act the defendant is doing is creating a well-founded fear in the mind of the person receiving this word or act. So again, if I were to walk up to Hulk Hogan and say, I'm gonna beat you up, he might laugh it off. You might say something in jest. Hey, Katie, if you eat one more of my french fries, I'm gonna hit you in the face, and it might make everybody at the table laugh. Things said with a sarcastic tone or in a jovial sense, those are not assaults. If the person receiving it, again, has a well-founded fear, you're in a car trying to drive at them and they have to jump out of the way. You, you know, you having this death look in your eye. Anything like that can satisfy that third element. It's important to talk to a local attorney about your case and make sure that the state can prove all of the elements and you can avail yourself of all potential defenses in the case.